and now it'll take us right inside. There you go. Open the door. Hey, Uncle. Get up. Get up. Oh, you're there. Hello there, mate. <laughs> and there's uh, Uncle Ravi. Yep. He's yeah, main man on TV3. Yep. Get outside the camp. Outside the camp. Yep. Shut the door. Right. The door. Yeah, there we go. And there's Mr. Ravi. Good up. Good up. And uh, he's doing what he does best, and that's sitting down. <coughs> and big socks. Oh, he's got green socks on today. Green socks today? Yeah. Irish day. And uh, okay, what have we got in the can here? In the can? Oh, look at that! Look at that. That looks like a uh, TV. Hey. <laughs> Put that back on. Put that back on. <laughs> TV. And we'll just zoom in. What have we got today? And I know uh, Larry, he likes the morning shift to catch up with the uh, oh, yes. well, afternoon shift. <laughs> what are you? Yeah, that's the light. Uh, no, you're right, that's your left. And it's reading um, 354 uh, meters up off the ground. That, that measures the length of the rope from the top here to the bottom. And uh, what else we got here? Uh, we move to our left here. Oh, there's uh, Larry's little, little stereo. And he's got his, uh, what, he's got a lunch bag? No, no, rubbish bag. No, rubbish bag. Lunch bag in the bag. And that's our little vacuum here. Oh, yes. Keep, keep it tidy. Keeps it nice and tidy. Yeah. And that little box there, right there, I'll just zoom in there. And that indicates the, it's reading 35. No, 3.5. Oh, sorry. 3.5 meters. That's the radius of the trolley. That's the radius of the trolley. Now this is interesting little uh, machinery there, right on the left there is the screen and what I'll do is that I'll just get down a bit and if you look at the end of the jib there, actually we're so close up now, I'll try and, uh, there it is there, that little green box. That's actually a camera, and it helps the boys to focus from the screen to see what's on the ground. So once the trolley runs out, out to the, to the end or wherever it is, the camera focuses right down vertical drop, records what's on the screen, and tells us where our load or our block is. Very good, isn't it? She has one in every frame. Yeah, very good. Okay. And yeah. He, he certainly is, he's got his hat yep. off. Yeah, we're looking at Terry working for a change. I think we're women. Yeah, and uh, these are boys on top of the mast. Look, if I stick my head out the window some more. Wow, look at here. You can even see all the way down there. And uh, they're just hiding a bit of bits and pieces there. Right. Okay, now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to start heating out the back there. Catch of the uh, cab. And just looking straight ahead is the jib drum for the trolley and uh, we'll just go around to our left here have a look and see and this is the back of the jib and uh, boy we've got bits and pieces up here we'll start walking down the back here and we'll sample what uh, we'll have a look what we got down the back here now you've probably seen the red light on the top of the uh, crane well, this is what it looks like. Just zoom in a bit. So you can get a pretty good view. And they reckon uh, they cost about four grand or something. One of these lights come from England. Okay, and there's the uh, counterweights. Just climb over this uh, side rod here. Okay, now uh, what have we got? Three counterweights. And there's the top of the ASB or the helipad in the background. Alright, there's the, the main drum. Now, this is quite amazing because um, if the tower is standing about 350 meters and it's got a rope running down to the ground, which runs back up, it's at least seven, 750 meters of rope. That's heaps. There's our fan the resistors all inside here when uh, especially when bringing up a heavy load the resistors have a tendency to burn up and fizzle so the fan cools it down 
do now is I'll go up the top and we'll see what sort of view we got up there. Okay, now I'm on top of the crow's nest, top of the A-frame of the crane. This is the tallest part of the crane. In fact, it'll be the tallest area to stand on in the whole of New Zealand. That's what we, we've come up from. That's the bottom of the, I'll just, I'll just put the camera on the side, that's the back of the jib. And there's the, another picture of uh, one of the top lights, aviation lights. And uh, I'll just turn the camera around here, and what do we got? Tie rods running right down to the end of the jib. There's a harbour bridge. Uh, you see the boys. I sort of see them underneath the jib there. And this is the view. If you're up here, this is what you would see. All of that. Birkin here. It's a little bit cloudy, a bit misty. But um, it's a nice fine day. And oh, you can't see quite that much out there. Oh, yeah, there's Rangi Tota. If I just zoom in a bit more. Okay. For the Devonport, actually, our old. Um, where is it? Be over there somewhere. Devonport Hall. And uh, over there. They've actually just built that uh, marina. Base berth for the bay. all the bays and whoops, let's take it out. Whoa, too fast on the zoom. And uh, you can see um, Bombay Hills out there, Otara, all out there. Oh, lights in the way. Oh, just going back to the left there. Look at that. There's the old Carl Park. Zoom in a bit. In the old league days. Hardly used now. Everybody's at Derrickson. Okay, old Carnal Park. It's down here. Oh yes, there's a nice shot of the um, uh, university uh, grounds with all the beautiful gardens. In fact, there'll be probably not much um, native bush around now. That's one area. Well then, I'll just take it out a bit. Yep. Made a bush. Some bush over there, yep. Actually you can see, uh, and here's the uh, Auckland Hospital. Children's Hospital. Way the Whitaker place again. Oh, the only time they're doing work is when I'm over there. Now, um, I wonder if we can see, uh, yeah, that's One Tree Hill. I'm going to zoom in. There it is, One Tree Hill. Probably in the afternoon would have been the best time to uh, record some of this. The fog and the mist uh, is all gone. Okay.